Breaking news. ECOWAS court summons Buhari's government over Lekki massacre. It's happening. You know, uh, to a large extent, many of us feel the international community are slow to, you know, responding to some issues that needs urgent attention in our opinion like they should. You know, we feel that um, they should respond ASAP. But sometimes this response might be six months, a year, two years, and many lives has been destroyed irreplaceably. And um, this is when they are responding. So to a large extent, it feels very much like, you know, what's the essence? Like we've, I mean, it's gone past where we really need help. And um, you've not helped us or assisted us like you should. You've left things, you know, to the last minute where we're not happy. So, I mean, when you look at this whole thing, you understand what is going on, that people are not happy and people, you know, but it, like they normally say, it's better late than never. So let's get all the details. What is really going on? Breaking news. ECOWAS court summons Buhari's government over Lekki massacre. The ECOWAS court of justice in Abuja has summoned President Muhammadu Buhari's government over Lekki notifying the federal government over a suit filed by filed by Patrick Elomo. The ECOWAS court gave federal government 30 days to file for defense or be ready to serve judgment in their service judgment in their absence. Speaking on the pending suit, Chief Patrick Elomo, legal representative Samuel Jr. stated that if the Lagos State Government and Federal Government think that Lagos State hashtag NSAS panel reports will be discarded and thrown to the dustbin, they've just made a mistake. They better have a rethink. In this regard, as the chase is just a paddling and first step in getting reparation for victims of the Lekki Toe Gate killings, we will do all we possibly can. He also said that by January 2022, when the ECOWAS court sits on the case, the legal team will make the case precisely to its legal conclusion. Sources recalls that a panel of inquiry found the Nigerian military to be, to be the culprit at the shooting and killing of unarmed protesters. Citizens protesting against police brutality in the commercial capital city in October last year were killed. In its report, which was leaked just hours after it submitted to the Lagos state government, the panel found out that there have been 48 casualties, including 11 killed and four people still missing during the described massacre, which Nigerian government has rejected and denied. So this is what is going on. This is what is happening. Uh, this is why Nigerians must not be quiet and we must all speak up with one voice, with one purpose, one unit, and we must continue to say the truth as it is and do not allow ourselves to be intimidated by a group of people. This is happening and, um, you know, uh, thank God the ECOWAS court is taking the federal government, you know, to court uh, and they've asked them to prepare their defense because the matter has has gone to a, has gotten a cold has gone into cold mood as soon as the conclusion of the panel report came and they said well let us uh, the, the nigerian army are responsible for abcdz we saw that uh, you know even the the army chief came up and said that they did, and they all know clearly what they did in fact i i i just wonder the kind of heart that the person who gave that order, Buhari or uh, Army Chief, whoever gave that order, maybe, uh, what's his name, Sanwolu or whoever gave the order, whoever it is, I wonder how they, they live with, their, with themselves. I wonder how they go about their life, how they live with themselves, what they do. I wonder, honestly, I, I, I seriously wonder what they do and how they go about it. And how they are comfortable with whatever they are doing. I, I sincerely, seriously, I wonder. And I don't understand it. 
and trying very much to understand it, how they live with themselves, how they carry about, how they comport themselves and how they're able to go about it as if nothing has happened. I don't get it. I'm trying very hard to understand it. I'm sincerely trying very hard to understand it. How people do these things and they can still, you know, and they can still move on and pretend, you know, that everything is all right. I don't get it. Sincerely, I'm trying to really understand it. You know what you have done. You know. You know clearly what you have done. You know. You know. You know that people were killed. You told them to go there. But yet you come out and you pretend. Okay? See, even if the people cannot speak for themselves, if the people will not be able to answer and bring you to justice, you don't you know that there is God that will bring you to justice? Remember our very former president's wife? A, a, a patience. She said there is God. And she wasn't missing words. There is really God. There is God, oh God, oh God. Remember? Remember that lines? Yeah. We may take it with a laughing, you know, with a pinch of salt and just laugh about it. But that woman was saying the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. There is actually God. There is God. Human beings can do whatever they want to do. And to a large extent, they think that they have... Uh, They've, they've done it all. But truth be told, there is God. And every man will pay for whatever he or she is doing. Every man, every man. You know, if you don't want to get a harvest, please don't even try to make a, any, any, putting anything on the floor. Don't, don't dare it. If you don't want a harvest, don't even put anything on the floor. Just take it as it is. Just, just you know, go with it. If you don't want a harvest, don't try. Don't start it as, at, at all. Don't start it. If you don't want to have us, just let it be as it is. Just let it be as it is. Don't, don't, don't even go about it yet. Okay? Just leave it as it is. Don't, don't start. So these are some of the things that are going on and these are some of the things that are happening. It is a wake-up call. It's true reality check for every one of us to do the right thing and to do it well. So at the end of the day, we can come out of any form of oppression that is currently staring us in the face. You know, we must come out of it. We must. That's the only way we can truly make a, you know, a meaningful change. You see, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. I have a voice. Let us speak out. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.